There is a huge mistake that I see a ton of editors do because they think that to be a great editor you need to have a lot of effects in every second of the video. This is very far from the truth. My number one rule is to be as smooth as possible. So I don't want you to be that kind of editor, I want you to be a good editor. This is the reason why I'm showing you three things that will make your footage more smooth that you can use every day in your editing work. Doesn't matter if it's talking head or real life footage or commercial. So let's start with the first one. We have a footage right here where a person dunks a basketball. This looks insane. This is very good. We want to use it. The problem is that we realize that we want to slow down this footage. Our timeline is 24 FPS and our footage is 24 FPS as well. So what happens if we slow down this clip? Let's change the speed from 100% to 50% and watch these frames per second. It halves. Now our footage is only 12 frames per second. That means only every second frame will be updated because our original timeline is 24 FPS. Let's check what that means. We slowed it down and if we play it, it's very unusual and not smooth and we want to fix this somehow but what can we do because the footage is shot we can't change it from 24 fps to 60 fps luckily we have a tool that we can use in davinci resolve if we click on the footage and we go down in the video section we found the retime and scaling and we can change the retime process from project settings to optical flow. What this does is that DaVinci Resolve will try to figure out what are the missing frames. He sees that our footage is only every second frame of the timeline, so he will fill the other ones and will figure out what needs to be added and it will make our footage so much more smooth as before. You can use this to slow down footage that is the same as your current timeline FPS and still be a smooth clip. And if you don't instantly see the changes, don't worry because it's hard for your computer to do this and if you render, you will see it much more clearly. Let's go to the second one. On the second one we see a great shot, but there is one problem with it as well. It's not really smooth. It was a handheld shot, zoomed in, it's hard to make it very smooth by hand, so we have to rely on post-processing. This is the oldest trick in the book, what we can do is come to the stabilization. Here we have some settings, you can choose how strong it is, how smooth it is, and what is the cropping ratio. The cropping ratio means that if you want to make it more smooth, it has to crop in more. Why? Because when you stabilize, let's click on it, it zooms in by itself and it will adjust for the handheld movement that I do. So now if you watch this clip, it's much more smooth. This effect is perfect for small jitters and handheld footage and things like that. It is not really good for like huge movements and huge adjustments. This is great for every b-roll or every handheld camera footage that you have. And the last tip that I have is zooms in. In talking head videos, zooms are very important and we want to make it smooth. And I have a video which explains how to make it smooth manually, but today I want to show you how to do it fast. So let's create a um, simple zoom, 1.2 here. Let's check this out. It's just a zoom, but this doesn't look very good. And as I said, you can come here and do it manually, which gives you a lot more options. But right now we want to be fast, so we just have to go to the last keyframe that we edited and right click on it and press easy. And if you check it, it's much more smooth. You can use this for any keyframe that you create. You can use this for rotation as well. You can use this for position and everything that you see with a keyframe. You just have to click on it and you just have to change it. Nice. Now we have much more smoothness in our footages. But if you want to animate your pictures like this one, then you can click this video and learn it from scratch. It's very easy, I promise.